A lot's been made over the last week of Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion package and the fact that he doesn't have to worry, um, as Bill Clinton did, for example, about the bond, bond market. But we do see yields rising a bit. And I wonder how, long, how far do you think that can go? Um, Bloomberg has a great story about European and especially Japanese investors just ready to feed that market with money as soon as yields get to one and a quarter, 1.3 percent. Yeah, there's some really interesting historical uh, sort of uh, analogies with respect to what's going on at the moment. I mean, you've just described there James Carville's famous quote that, that he wouldn't come back as the Pope or the president or a 400 hitter, he'd come back as, as the bond market because you can intimidate everyone. Bond vigilantes have been crushed, really. They've been run over by the wall of liquidity that central banks have been providing for years and years and years. This is not a recent phenomenon. And so you do have less discipline in financial markets. And if there is less discipline on the actors, central banks and, and governments alike, then it's likely that some of these somewhat risky strategies will continue. But there will come a point where um, you, you've pushed the market too far and it will exert that discipline. What we're seeing at the moment is that also we have large pools of wealth and savings out there in the world, not necessarily in the domestic United States, but in the world, which see value in U.S. Treasuries already and will continue to see value of Treasury yields rise higher. And that's similar to the Greenspan conundrum where the Fed was tightening policy, but 10 years weren't moving or were even rallying because China was accumulating this huge current account surplus and it was plowing a lot of those savings back into the Treasury market. If I look around the world now, I see a lot of the economies which are deemed to have won or, or performed very well as a result of the virus, the pandemic and the, the scenario afterwards, they're all accumulating large current account surpluses, export driven recoveries. And even if they're diversifying some of that reserve accumulation, a lot of it, most of it will be in the US and most of it will find its way back to the Treasury market. So there are plenty of countervailing forces. Quite where that level is, I'm not sure. But I think after hearing from uh, Leo Brainard and Jerome Powell this last week, putting the taper chat back in the box, I do think it will be more difficult for Treasury yields to push on significantly from here in the short term.